Well, good morning or good evening, whatever it may be. Uh, I am Dascro, and this is another match commentary for the Project PTFO, which is a 44 Squad Rush event where YouTube commentators play with their uh, fans, randomly selected, and then uh, in a big single elimination bracket tournament. And this is the semifinals. This is Clever Brownies, which includes me and Nick Bunyan, versus TAC, which includes Sergeant Enigma and Locklear. Uh, unfortunately, Sergeant Enigma couldn't make it for this match, and so they brought in one of their other randoms. Uh, but nonetheless, though, two maps. Caspian Border and Operation Metro. Uh, Operation Metro, a lot of people play it in Squad Rush. Caspian Border, not so much. We're going to go over Caspian Border right now and watch this round, and then once we get done with the match, I'll go into a little bit of the commentary in terms of strategy and tactics, what worked well and what didn't work well. But quick map overview for Caspian Border. So there's two stages in Squad Rush. There's one MCOM per, uh, per stage. Uh, blue is attacker size. So that's this section right here. We have the second stage, which is the uh, the, the next uh, thing that you get once you blow up that bomb. That's second stage. Uh, this is on Caspian Border. This is sort of, for reference, this is the B cap or hilltop. Big, big hill. Attackers start off at sort of at the checkpoint area, and they have to work their way up. And if, we're, if we put in some topographical lines, it would be basically like this. It would be a very big hill that takes a lot of you know, a lot of running to get up onto. Um Stage two uh, is sort of a downhill experience. You start at hilltop and going down to a gas station, uh, going through sort of this valley or the stream, what have you, and going through all the rocks and trees all the way up to the uh, next station. So let's go into the first stage of what it looks like, some major points of, uh, of interest. Uh, we have uh, the MCOM, which is in this little tiny shed right in the middle next to Antenna. Antenna's right here. Uh, we have a garage. We have shed, which we call toad in this uh uh, this video and Toad Trail, which leads up to it. We have a, an A Street and a C Street. Now, the reason why is that we have three different names for rocks. We have A Rocks, which are the rocks to the far left. We have B Rocks, which are right in the middle. And then we have C Rocks, which are on the far right. We do this just because it's easier to, to just to, once everyone knows that it's A, B, or C, you can call it out a lot easier. So if there's guys pushing on B Rocks, you can say, oh, they're on B, and then people can move accordingly. So uh, there's a trail which is in between the A rocks and B rocks. Uh, there is uh, the garage, I already said that, and then you got a fence line over here and some sandbags here. Uh, that's basically it. On the second stage, we have uh, a little bit more stuff. We have this sort of river valley here, here, and then we have a bunch of rocks, which we don't name, because really we want to focus more on naming the stuff that's closer on to the MCOM. We have the MCOM, MCOM building. The MCOM is in a larger building next to the gas station. We have 10 or 10 building. We call them 10 because uh, they sort of have 10 roofs. And so there's you get this 10 building that uh, you can try to shoot through and have a little bit of concealment, but nothing that much. We have a building right next to it we call 10 building. Uh, we have these uh, these ISO containers on the far left, which we call uh, Legos. We have water tower area. We have villa area. And we have cars, which are in the parking lot. And we have ridge, which is this big ridge line of rocks. Let me go that out. Ridge line of rocks right here. Pushing up on that as well. Nonetheless, so that's the uh, basic overview of the map. When we get done with the th this uh, map, I'll go over uh, what, what worked well and what didn't work well and go from there. So enough of me jabbering. Let's watch the match. Yeah, this That's right. This is round really one, good. and uh, there is no delay for whatever reason the server set up, so we don't have 30 second delay uh, before spawn, and so uh, it puts a disadvantage of those that are running uh, regular hard drives instead of solid state hard drives. I'll go, all right, I'll go right. I'll split right. I'll split right. Go slow, guys. I got, I got picked. Uh, Let's see, no, we're here. playing attackers first on Caspian Border, and I go down by Locklear. Two B Rock. Two B Rock. He's resing. Two, two, two. He's resing on top of Got a kill, but Locklear kills another one, so we have two guys down, three guys down. Nick's only one up. And Nick's down. Wow. That's a wipe. Stay alive. Stay alive. Yeah. It's wipe. That's why. That's not a good start. 16 tickets left. Not yet. We burn through no, no, four. Yeah, do just need to, Not just good. Need to play and get picked. Stick together. Okay, we know they're B rock, and Is they were C. Left side? So we're gonna try this time around as maybe a, a right push, yeah, take a little bit slower. Right. That's what we're doing, and hopefully we can get something to happen. I'm over top of you. I don't. I don't see anyone. I'm just push up slowly until I see somebody in the shooting the pick. Nick. Yeah, slow wait, down. slow down. Let it. Wait for us to catch up to you guys. All right. 
Oscar, I'm pushing to your right. So again, we're just being very quiet. We're just we're going to a right uh, push. Uh, we got. They're oh, smoking Mark. us. Uh oh. Uh, B. B rocks. So I'm gonna push up near Dream to try to help him out. Watch for the res. I'm pushing right behind their spawn. It's pushing towards you. Deck two. Right and down. one on me. Another one on me. One down. One down on main road. Oh, one on my body. Uh, or a right. road. Hey, Locker gets me. Uh oh. I'm over two against Locker. That's not good. Spawn on me if you die. Marasso, yeah, push up and so now I'm gonna spawn it on Marasso, Hopefully. I'm right on bomb. I'm right on bomb. Looking towards you. And we got 14 tickets. Uh, bomb, bomb, that's not bad. On bomb. He's lit. I'm dead. And I get in, and I start fighting. Uh oh. Uh oh. I get kicked from the server. So I don't know what that's all about. Uh, but I lost connection to it. I get back in. Uh, but I don't record quickly because I'm, I'm focused on playing the game. And so in the meantime, let's watch Morasso's uh footage for the next few minutes, and then we'll uh get to uh back to mine. Uh, as uh, I realize that I can. Connect to the server. We still got 11 tickets, so. Marasso, come with me. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, admin, admin said he didn't do anything. Did I you take a screenshot of it? I got to, yeah, I took a screenshot. I got it. Just keep rolling. Okay. He's still up there, Dream. You, you got him? You got two, pick me up. Coming. In shot, same spot. Got one, got one. One, one, uh, C Street, C Street. I'm going all the way around. Up. C Street down, ah, there's one above me too. Uh, they're, they're resing on, on Nick's body. Nick, why are you using Flamas, dude? Down. Marasso, where are you? I'm behind their base. Okay. Are you guys dead? Alright, spawn on me. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait for everyone. I'm going. Alright. Up hill right. One in antenna. One behind oh, garage. One in C Rock. C Rock. Take the mech, get there. I'm peeking. C Rock. Right. He's nading us. I'm peeking, though. One down. I got two. I got one. Okay. Look for squad. No, no, it's on B Rock right in the middle. B Rock still. Dream plant. We got you, man. Got one, one trail, two trail, two trail. Look for Go and see rock. I am a rock. Watching trail. I'm watching fence trail. Check your back, okay, you guys. They're not, they're not back. Oh, one back, one back. Two back, three back, three back. On my right, body. I'm they're watching, resin. There's three on it. They're I'm peeling left and right. Three there. Two down, two down. No one on the one, one on the body. They're resing. They're resing. I, I, I charge. Dream, I charge. I charge. I got one coming for you. One at toad. One at toad. Stay up. He's on the bomb. Two on the bomb. He's disarming it. I got two. Oh, there's. Pick him two. up. The last one's in on bomb. I'm dead. He's coming out. Shit. Stay alive. Pick, pick Stay pick alive. Stay alive. That should have been a squad wipe. Just look for it. Got one. That's a wipe. That's a wipe. Wipe. All right. Let's, that shit. Let's set up again. I'll be safety. I'll be safety. Someone needs to get towards C. We got too many people watching the spawn. Same place. Same place. Coming from the trail. Smoking. Trail. All three oh. trail. I got one. They're pushing you, Dream. Pushing you. He's right on you. I'm not, I needed it. I got him. I got him. Nick, are you on bomb? Yes. Got him. Still here. I'm watching oh. trail, Dasker. Is that a wipe or no? I didn't see one. And we're back. Got it. Nice job. So we are. Uh, uh, I have connection now. Uh, we just got the bomb. So that was great. Backing up on left. So we got it. That's good. So we got one M come down, and uh, we're now gonna push on the second one. We thought we can be, you know, kind of aggressive with this. Still at that spawn rock. Guys, don't don't just jump down to the river. They they got picks on. And so uh, Dream is pushing a far right, or trying to push far right. Uh, and Dream goes down, I took it for res, and uh, I try and get a hit, and I go down. Mm -mm. We're playing real sloppy. And this is what, you kind of make these mistakes when you haven't 
practiced a map enough, and Caspian Border is not a common squad rush map in most competitive play. It's uh, it's 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 just not played that often, and so a lot of us don't have much experience with it. For some of us, it's our first time playing it, and it's not good. Um, and it really shows. Dream's pushing far right or trying to push far right. We're gonna have the other guys push left, and uh, no, let's see what happens. The spawns in this are so goofy because I mean I'm I, I spawn basically right on the river and if if they're peeking I'm gonna be in trouble, and so we're fighting it out. He's on map. He's on map. And these rocks, I don't, these rocks are so problematic because, and I go dead again, Locklear. I I am I'm over three now against Locklear. He is he is just wrecking me. Oh man. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. Say we go again. We go far, far right. And we go three left. Yeah, I'm really, I really like this three-one push right. concept. We're but we have, we we're have having problems going far right. And remember, you can go way, way far right, well beyond that street. You can actually go to the right of that street before you even cross that stream and and get up there. Uh, that's just not working. One's right. If not, I'll go with smoke. Two right. And so, what are we doing now? Again, right, so one is Dream is pushing far, far. Oh, no, Dream's pushing right in the middle. He's shifting left towards those rocks in front of you guys. To your left. Dream goes down, I get a res on him. Thanks, man, Trying to find guy, I can't. One on your rock, on your rock above you guys, he's lit. Looking around for that rock, I hear them telling me that there's a guy on the rock. He's tore up. And I go, see the red, oh, oh, red. I gotta he's peek him. Right, that little rock, little rock. I, see, little I don't rock. see anyone on little rock. I look at the big rock. There's Don't see one big rock. I pre-fire it because it could be there, and then I shoot it, but I go down. Shit, no, I'm down. All right. All right. Oh, for four against Lockler. I'm not doing good at all against him. We cannot keep on pushing that area. We're not getting anywhere. And so I have a panic moment. I say, guys, let's stop. Let's just stop. We are getting screwed so much here. Uh, we lost ten tickets. I smoke it. I want to use some smoke and try to preempt it. But oh, look who's coming through the smoke! It's Locklear again. Rex me 0 for six against Locklear. Not good. If this is a harbinger for the uh, you know of what of things are to come for the rest of the round. We're in trouble. This is not going to be easy. I'm over six. There's one pushing in our spawn. Against Locklear. Not good. It's fun. You could say, oh, dash doesn't matter go that you're over six. Yeah, it's just but, all go left. you know, uh, keeping these things around. in mind sort of give you an idea of how much, you know, you're in your yeah, zone or how much you're not in your zone and, and, and how you need to accommodate accordingly. So now we're going to try something different. We're going to go way, way left. Way, way left. Because look, look at the mini map. Look how big that map is. We can go way, way left. And so that's what we're going to do. Can Dream put a spawn beacon down for me and Desco to get on bomb? And so Bunyan no, you're, you're too far away. states, uh, no, you know, a very, a very important point. Put that beacon down so we can jump down. And so we are going to do some flying. Dream, they're going to be expecting us. When we get that beacon down, here it comes. He's got the beacon box out. He's going to put that beacon box down. And here we go. Me too. Woohoo! They're shifting. They're shifting. So I'm flying on ten. I look. Uh oh, there's a guy there. He doesn't see me. Oh yeah, and he goes down. So that's one down. Uh, we get the bomb plant. Dreams down, but that's okay. Uh, I see a guy on tin. You get a lot of bullets in him. You get a flank around him. Oh, there's a guy. I shoot there. There you go. So it's three down, and uh, we get all of our guys up. We are in a very, very good position. Even though we only have six tickets left, so we lost 14 tickets to this nonsense of, of pushing you know, directly into it. Now, I call it yellow because... Uh, I was looking at my mini map. I mean, I wasn't zoomed in enough, and so I thought it was yellow, and actually it was cars. Yellow dumpster versus the cars. Bunning gets one kill. Looking not too bad. I hear guys are tens. I look around for tens. I don't see anything. And that's it. And that's it. All right. So, map one, round one. We win both MCOMs. And so. Are we holding for. And so now we're going to go into the next round. All right. Map one, round two, we are defending. What the hell is going on? Against TAC. This is live, right? Yes. Yes. I'm running. I'm running. 
So I'm playing Recon first because uh, after talking with Dream about playing Recon, I, I wanted to have him be medic more so than me. He's a better medic than I am, and so I am going to play Recon. I don't play Recon usually, and so I'm putting myself at a big disadvantage. And I'm using the M417 because I, I, I heard good things about it, and uh, I'm going to try to, you know, uh, be a, not as aggressive as I want to be, but more on the support okay. role. One, one, one top of, of B-Rock. Yeah, one, one behind, behind, two on bomb. Behind two on bomb. bomb. Two on bomb. Dead, dead, dead. Oh! And Rasso gets a twofer. I, I can't pick you up. One right. Or one, one on A Street. And I call it wrong. It's not right. It's left. Know, and it's A Street, which is where it is. Door. And I go down. They're on fence. They're pushing up now. And so, Bunyan's there, Bunyan gets one, Bunyan gets two, wow, Bunyan, doing good with the FAMAS. Squad, squad all right, all right. And get the squad limb, that's what I want to hear. I want to hear that squad limb in my ears. That's the only thing that I care about hearing. Well, here, I care about a lot of things hearing, but, but on the screen, when it says it on, on your little tickets, I want the tickets to say, They're uh, pushing squad limb. Yeah, there's two... We got five, five tickets down on them. It's They're fifteen right uh, left. Ah, uh, okay. There's one on C road. Uh, C road. C road. So Marissa says C road. I grenade it preemptively. C road. And just aiming down road. sight. Maybe I'll get a kill or two. Don't see anything though. Mm -mm. Still C road. I think. He might gonna move back to sandbags. Back. Nope. I'm not gonna move. This. I'm gonna move to sandbags. Nick, are you reset? Moving down on the left yeah. near fence. I'm back here, but they're And I go down. Uh, a street, A street, backside. One at one at one A street. Uh oh. oh they're behind. Garage, garage, garage. So that they're garage and okay. A street. He's lit. Oh, He's look lit. at that. Oh, I, Three I, I, down. Dream, dream. Dream, dream uh, okay. kills one. Okay. Kills Locklear. That's good. Oh, my body. He's lit. He's got zero We're up. He's running back to garage. I'm running, and I switch kits. I say I don't. I'm. I cannot play garage. recon anymore. I felt like I could do it. Nope. I'm not, I'm not that good with it. And so I get the smoke out. I am smoking like uh, a few things. And I am like see a guy on yellow dumpsters. Take yellow him out. The resin. Fence road. There's, fence road. Fence road. Okay, oh, I see yeah, one, two, three dudes. And I killed the guy that got rezzed. And I got one. I got one. Two garage. Still two garage. Back to garage. Down I'm, two garage. I'm behind him. I'm behind him. I'm behind him. There's one behind him. And we're fighting it They're out. Dead. They're dead. All right. I got Squad both. him. No. no. One guy left. I think. Oh, there he is. Am I gonna get him? Oh, I got him. Hey. All right, all right, I'm I'm one for six now against Locklear. All right. Does someone, does someone Things a, are turning hello. around. Yeah, I got you. Okay. I got no health. I got a I got an M320, so I gotta get some health. Good job, guys. So they have seven tickets left, and they haven't gotten the first MCOM yet. So that's good. Coming yeah. Right trail. Side. Yeah, I'm getting inside next to all the flowers. Look at the flowers, the flowers and the and the grass, and uh, again, just being patient, being patient. One down. One, Six one tickets trail, left. Hey, hey, one, one backside. And I go right, down. They're toad trail, toad trail. They're two they're uh, pushing pushing from, pushing from the rear, pushing this little shed which we call toad. And Marasso goes down. Oh, Marasso kills one, but he goes down. So we have two guys up. I'm switching to three twenty. All right. Yeah, they're behind garage. And start to blow up. Oh, I missed. I miss it. I'm so bad. I'm, I'm so not used to using M320s because they're not allowed in most leagues. Um, Alright. Oh, I got one though. That's got okay. Toad trail. Toad trail. This is a toad trail. I got a shift. Two toad trail. There you go. There's one. I got. Oh, nice. All right. One's going to bomb. He's lit. Pick me up. Toad trail speaking. Toad trail speaking. Just to get some reses. Now that now uh, we just have to hold them. They only have three tickets left. That's all I gotta do. So one goes down. I didn't get the kill though, and I see one. I see one. Who is that? One on bomb. Uh, Lockley gets me. One for seven. Lockley gets another guy, and then he. Get... Look at that. Lockley got a three for in that one. Holy moly! Oh, that... we we gotta kill him. Got him. No. I got him. Oh, we got it. They're trying to do the uh, MCOM plant, but yeah, Marosa just you know blows all this gun into his uh, into the guy, and they're dead. So we win the first uh, round, so two MCOM to uh, zero, and, then, uh, and so let's go into some uh, more nice in-depth analysis.
Okay, so we won that map. We won two, zero. We killed, we destroyed two of the MCOMs. They destroyed none of the MCOMs. We were to deny them from uh, uh, blowing up the MCOMs. We got real, real close, though, on that uh, that defending side first stage. So what went well and what didn't go well? Oh, man, a lot of things did not go well on this match. An attacker side, which we'll, we'll talk from the, our attacker side perspective first since that was the first thing we played. We went through, what was that? We went through probably uh, 10 tickets or so uh, before we even got a decent hold on things. We tried to do a frontal push, and it and it, we got wiped. We tried to do a far uh, a far uh, right push on A Street. We got wiped. Uh, finally, finally, we got guys around all the way around here in the back, and then we started cleaning it up. Uh, got disconnected. That didn't help at all, but we still... Uh, uh, we're able to blow up that MCOM and get a few good wipes with three tickets. So wow, uh, when they're when they're on these middle rocks and A and, and B and even a little bit of C, they can cover it so easily. And maybe we should have used smoke. Maybe we should have used the spawn beacon. Um, I think smoke would have been a little bit more viable if we would have practiced it a bit more. But the use of smoke in of itself isn't going to help you. You have to know where to smoke and know when to smoke. And um, a lot of teams are now relearning how to use smoke because smoke has been buffed quite a bit. It's been buffed in two different main ways. One, it stays up longer. It stays up probably, I'm going to guess here, four or five seconds longer than what it used to, which is a lot of time. Secondly, and this is the most important thing, more so than the first thing, you can no longer do a 3D spot and or do a, a crosshair spot using uh, when you have smoke in front of you. Now, for those that don't know what I'm talking about, before the most recent patch, if you if you had two dudes on the enemy teams and the enemy and, and the guy that is, is in front of you, the opposing guy, smokes the space in between you and, your, and him, if you took your crosshairs and you hovered over his body, even though you can't physically see him on your screen, your crosshairs would light up with you know, a little hit indicator, a little indicator, not a hit indicator, but a little indicator similar to 3D spotting. It basically do like a, uh, it basically display its name right above your crosshairs because you're hovering over that enemy dude, and so it made smoke really ineffective because if you could do that or if you could just move your mouse back and forth and eventually get that that notification, you knew that there was a guy in, in, in your crosshairs and you could shoot him and kill him. You can't do that now with new smoke. Really big deal. Teams are still trying to learn how to use that most effectively, and I think if we would have practiced it a bit more, we probably would have used it. Um, spawn beacon, uh, maybe it may have worked. Um, the, the problem is, is that if they have guys looking maybe at sandbags, uh, let me refresh this. They can get really easy spots and kill them. Um, really easy stuff. Uh, nonetheless, though, a uh, little, little rough at the start, but the three ticket spread on on that in the end. So let's talk about the second stage of what happened there. Second stage, like the first. Not a good start. We try to do a few big pushes on the uh, on the front. No luck. We got killed every time. Locklear was up there on the rocks with his friends, um, maybe on this position, maybe on uh, this position, and they were wrecking us. We went through uh, twelve tickets trying to push that. We tried to push a little bit on the on the right over here, uh, actually. It, but the problem was, um, this was the first time some of our players had played this map um, in this game mode. And so they assumed that we would be going up over alongside the road, where in reality we could actually push all the way over here. See, look how far I can go. That's all in bounds, not out of bounds. So if we would have pushed there, we may have gotten, be able to get a beacon and we may have gotten on the villas and go from there. But we didn't do it. Uh, we went through a lot of tickets, and they pushed us up real hard to the point where they were spawn camping us. Eventually, Moroso got around by going all the way around a sea like this, all the way around this ridge line. And then Dream... Puts the spawn beacon down. Nick Ben and I parachute onto 10 buildings and gas station accordingly. And at the same time, uh, Dream and Morasso start pushing in for this, this uh, over here this way. Try to stop them as they're retreating back. Get some good fights. And so really, we got some good fights here and killed them. And we're able to the bomb cap real fast. And they never recovered from it. They had some guys at cars, but they didn't play aggressive enough. Uh, they, I didn't see any guys real pushing from their defender sections. They were all pushing from here, but there's a big void. There's a huge void in this area. And if we have, if we have rooftop advantage, which we did for on both gas station and uh, 
and on uh, 10 building, we can easily see them pushing up, either along the fence line or even directly from cars on it to bomb. So we were able to hold that really well. That, that defense worked really well. So that was really good. Um, let's talk about what happened when we were playing defender's side. So on defender's side, uh, we we actually held pretty well. We had an A, A, B, C hold, and then me in the back as a as a really ineffective recon. Really ineffective recon. I didn't get a single kill as recon. In fact, I changed my kits up to medic because I knew it didn't matter. I, I wasn't helping. I was actually doing more damage than good because I was dying too much. Uh, they did a, uh, TAC did a few good uh, pushes on the far uh, left and got through me, and but we still able to hold it down. Uh, we probably got maybe 10 tickets, 12 tickets off of them until they wised up and said, well, let's go all the way around on the, on the back trail and go on toad and push this way. So I was like running up over here and they just, they just plapped me and I was down. It's done. Uh, luckily, I spawned in over here, and I, I got some really good holds, and I smoked this area so they couldn't see me, and then I pushed all the way in and started fighting them on yellow dumpsters. Um, got a few good kills on that, killed the same guy over and over again, um, and then eventually a few other guys got around and flanked him, and we got some kills and wiped him out. Um, I had some grenades there. I could have used the grenades, and I didn't. I, I think I should have, because I think it would have helped out, but I didn't. You know, I had two grenades. So... And I respect I probably should have used those grenades. Finally, sort of at the, the culmination of all the fighting, Locklear does a mad dash from Yellow Dumpsters to a few guys, uh, and there's three of us alive. I'm here. There are guys here. Uh, a, a third guy is fighting, pistol fighting Locklear. Locklear kills a guy pistol fighting. He, some, he, he, he runs around but kills the second guy, Who's trying to who is uh, who's trying to res the first guy, and then as I try to run around to kill the to to res both those guys, Locklear kills me as well. He gets a three kill on it. He he wipes out seventy five percent of our team. Morasso's still up though. He's on antenna, and I had I had blown up the MCOM building ten seconds earlier because one of the things that we talked about was that if we are defending. We need to blow up that MCOM building so that we can cover it from nearly any angle. That's what we did. And so they were planning on the bomb, and they were huddled right next to each other, two of them were. And Marasso just mag-dumped into them and killed them outright while they were trying to plant. They didn't get the plan off. And plan is tricky because if you can't kill them before they get to the 75% mark on their MCOM plant, if you can't kill them by then, they'll actually get the plant. But if, the, if you do it before that 75% done... Uh, the, the plant won't happen. And so Marasso got it right in the nick of time. We were able to kill them, get their tickets down to zero, round's over, we win the round 2-0. So all that being said, let's uh, go into some strategy about, well, not strategy, let's go into uh, Operation Metro. Brief, brief overview, then match, and then more strategy. You can check out round two of Operation Metro's semifinals, TAC vs. Clever Brownies. And the link's below or in this little video thing.